Hey, somebody stop that guy! He just robbed me! Hey, Ken! A little help? Not my problem. That sounded like a gunshot. Uncle Ben! Oh. Oh. Ben was my rock in a world where I couldn't count on anything. A world where my parents disappeared. Where a genetically modified spider bite turned me into something... new. But now, Uncle Ben was gone. For his memory. For Aunt May. To make up for not stopping his killer when I should have. I had to become a man. Spider-Man. And I've done some good put away a lot of bad guys. But I haven't found the man who killed Uncle Ben. There's one more empty space in a life full of them. The man who killed Uncle Ben is out there somewhere. I will find him. I'll never stop looking for Uncle Ben's killer. Never. Hey, Larry, these guns are heavy. How about a hand? I set this gig up. That makes me the boss and you the hired help. So shut up and put some effort into it. The ringleader looks like the guy who killed Uncle Ben. But I'm not sure. I need to get some pictures of him. Let's get a good look at this guy's ugly face. That's not who I'm after. I've got a bad feeling. my instinct. Spider-Man! <laughs> Hell with it, kill him! Yeah! You're gonna pay for what you've done, Spider-Man! Hey! Get me down! Come on, get me down from here! Quiet. Let me see your hands. See? Huh. It's your lucky night. You're not the guy I'm after. Unless you had a tattoo removed. No, man, no, no, no. I'm, I'm afraid of needles. And heights! So how about let me down, huh? Relax, you're fine. What? Until the webbing dissolves. So, but, you know, the cops will find you by then. Please, what do you want? Maybe I can help you find who you're looking for. Just just put me on the ground, yeah? Because the jails all have the same fashion magazines. Because there sure are a lot of criminals who look like you. Uh, huh? I'm trying to find this one. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I, I seen that guy. Oh. He sells guns to my boss, Herman Schultz. Lying will not improve my mood. Yeah, I swear! I swear, Mr. Schultz is doing a deal right now! Look, I, I don't know if it's with him, but he's buying enough firepower to take out an army, man! Army? Which army? The, the Russians, man! They arm up, we arm up! Scary times, man. You, you gotta be ready for anything, you know what I'm talking about? Tell me where to find Schultz, okay? Maybe I'll upgrade your accommodations to, uh, yeah. a fire hydrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you say? Yeah, yeah, Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh huh? Uh huh? Got a deal? Snap! Now that the cops crack down, every crew in the city's running low on guns. This'll give us a hell of an advantage. You mean us? Surrender the guns and maybe you live. Come get them, punks! How about I take the guns? I don't think you guys are qualified to use them responsibly. Ah, <clears throat> oh, you must be Schultz! Your goon said you were ugly, but whoa! <laughs> He was being charitable. Think you can take me, huh, freak? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna make it easy for you. Oh, 
Aw, come on! All your friends did! I'm begging you, man. Look, don't kill me like the others. We can make a deal. Others? Yeah, I've got money. Guns. Just tell me what you need, huh? I hear you do business with this guy. <laughs> what do you want to know? Who's the man in the picture? Huh? I, 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 Carradine. I don't know if that's his real name, huh? He sells guns without those annoying background checks. Where do you meet him? I mean, it's different each time. You put the word out you want to make a deal, he calls. Always on a disposable cell phone. I, he's a real paranoid fella, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. He must have a guilty conscience. I, uh, uh, come on, we got a deal? Why can't you and the Russians play nice? Huh? Are you kidding? After what they've been doing to our people, then my guys feel like uh, they have to escalate. You know, it's bad for business. But, but, but what are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> Stop it, and you're gonna tell me how. I I'm not sure you can. You ask me, I it's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better, huh? The tattoo. What does it mean? Uh, it's a gang thing. There aren't any gangs using that symbol. We, only a few people have it. It means he's a specialist. A guy who can get you anything you want for the right price. And he'll kill anyone who gets in his way, huh? Yeah. I already knew that. You want the guy in the picture, huh? Look for a gun dealer in Alphabet City. Okay, he goes by Carradine. I think I got his latest number here in my phone. Wait, don't... Stupid! I was so desperate for answers, I let him play me like an amateur! Carry me. But whoever he is, I can't let him put more guns on the street. The spider! Let's not fight. Ah, never mind, let's fight. I'll fight. Your call, Spider-Man. Chase us, or let those people burn. Oh boy, much obliged, Spidey. Anytime, Stan. Hey, how'd you like me to call the Daily Bugle? <laughs> and tell them that Jameson is full of it. Huh. I'm not gonna stop you. So long. Peter? Hey, Stan. Oh, welcome back, true believer. Gosh, I haven't seen you in the store since... I can't say it enough. I am so sorry about your Uncle Ben. Oh, he was a good man. He was the best. Thanks. Thanks. I was just remembering how we used to come in together. After the mess I made house-sitting for you, I felt kind of bad. Oh, water under the bridge. Hey, can't I get you anything? Some Merry Marvel mayhem to get the old pulse pounding. Nah, I was just passing by, but I'll come back. Well, enough said. Any time you need inspiration, I'll be right here. So I says to him, one meat lovers. Okay, in what world does meat lovers mean mushrooms? Yeah, way, and I'm like, nah, uh and she's all like, yeah, huh, it's so true. <sighs> This is Carradine. What do you need? Firepower, man. It's getting crazy out there, you know what I'm saying? We need some serious boomstick, and they say you're the guy that can make that happen. Alley behind Nuno's bar. Two hours. Wait, you're gonna count that? I thought we had trust. You're funny. Hey, what's that? Stop! Come on! Move over! Hostage.
hostage. Not good. Okay. Just shaking up. Get that psycho. He can't have gotten far. Emergency. I need to report a dead body. Suitable for framing. The guy who killed Uncle Ben is gone. You'd think that would bring me some peace. But I don't feel peaceful. Not even close. Confirm tonight that there's a serial killer on the loose. One with a unique twist. He hunts other killers. His latest victim is Dennis Carradine, a convicted murderer and arms dealer. Carradine has been identified as the perpetrator in last year's shooting of Queens resident Benjamin Parker. Some New Yorkers we spoke to applaud the fact that violent criminals are being taken off the streets. Hey, somebody wants to clean up the trash. I say more power to them. But police caution that the perpetrator is a threat to everyone. This individual is a dangerous psychopath. He commits acts of extreme carnage and brutality, leaving the initials CK written in blood as a signature. The crime scenes are so gruesome, they shock even veteran officers. Due to the letters and the horrific nature of the crimes, authorities are calling this man the Carnage Killer. Anyone with information should call the police immediately. This is Whitney Chang for the Daily Bugle News Network. Horrible. But at least it's finally over. The man who took Ben from us won't ever hurt anyone again. Maybe now we can move on. Peter? W what's the matter? Aunt May, the truth is, I'm glad he's dead. I know that's wrong. You're relieved a bad man can't hurt anyone else. That's different. You're glad a murderer was brought to justice. There's nothing wrong with that. I know. It's just, I... Part of you wishes you're the one who did the bringing to justice? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what Ben would have wanted. He wanted you to work hard, graduate, go to college, all the things you did. Wherever he is, he's very proud of you, and so am I. I wish for bad things to happen to this Carradine guy. A lot. That's perfectly natural. He killed your uncle. Yeah, but... Peter Parker, it's bad enough you feel guilty about Ben. I, I won't let you beat yourself up over this. Why would it be your fault? Did you kill that man? No. He was a criminal. He associated with awful people. It's not as if you had any control over that. What, what could you have done? <sighs> so, you feel better? My husband's still gone. I think that'll hurt forever. You said you thought maybe we could move on. Yes, uh... Now that there isn't that question hanging over us. Where is he? Why don't they catch him? Now we can look ahead. But it's not like being... happy. We'll be happy again, Peter. I promise you. You heard Whitney Chang. Some people are grateful to the Carnage Killer. I kinda know how they feel. That's not the same as condoning it. You're not glad this carnage person is out there murdering, are you? You want him taken off the streets, don't you? 
Yes. Yeah, I do. And he will be. Uh, Aunt May, can you turn that up? We have breaking news of a hostage situation at Oscorp. Armed men are holding several employees at gunpoint. Oh, no. Security camera footage has identified the ringleader as career criminal Herman Schultz. Schultz? What? Uh, Gwen, she still interns at Oscorp. At the office this late? No, but I should make sure. Oh, that's a good idea. I always thought you two never should have split up. Um, don't wait up for me. I always do. What's your name? Max. Max Dillon. Okay, Max. Easy choice. Tell us where to find the weapons, or you uh, die. I'm an electrical engineer. I don't have access to those areas. Then it's a bad day to be you, eh, Max? You're Mr. Spider-Man. Just Spider-Man. Mr. Spider-Man was my father. What's your name? Uh, Max. Max Dillon. I'm in R&D. Well, Max, I need you to help me out. Be my eyes and ears. Can you do that? Really? I mean, yes! I won't let you down. Good. Get the hostages out through stairwell C. It's all clear. I really appreciate the help, partner. Partner? Connections at. You think I'd skip town? Give New York to freaks like you? No way! I just needed an equalizer. And now? <laughs> I've got it! Say hello to the seismic harness construction resource. Or, as I like to call it, the Shocker! You might be able to make a deal with D.A. Harper for protective custody, uh, if you help stop this gang war. Innocent people are getting caught up in it. I can't! It's bigger than me now. All the gangs in the city are at war. Everyone's scared of everyone else. The Russians got here at almost the same time you did. I know. One of my guys must have dropped a dime. Now that your future looks... Let's go with Limited. What'll they do? Keep arming up. Take out what's left of my men and everybody else in town. <laughs> they're ruthless. I promise you. By the time they're done, you'll wish you had Harmon Schultz back. <sighs> so, you broke in here for a power-up? Absolutely. Guns won't do it anymore. Huh? Everybody wants an ace that the others don't have. The kind of fighter power that you can fight an army with. And I bet they don't care who gets caught in a crossfire. That's why they call them bad guys! What are all you tough guys so afraid of? The Carnage Killer! He's murdering my people, huh? The, 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 the Russians? Hammerhead's crew? Mr. Negative's men? Uh, everyone thinks the other guys are paying him. I'm starting to worry he's some kind of freak. Like that giant lizard a while back, or that dude with all the, the, the robots. So, as long as he's out there killing, the gang war goes on? And it gets worse! Unless you want to go for a butt-whipping hat trick, you'll tell the cops everything you know about the gang war. Okay, but it won't do any good. Look, the city's full of trigger-happy wise guys. Scared the carnage killer's gonna get them. That's one fire that's just gonna keep on spreading, huh? Huh. <laughs> You know, as much as I made fun of these things, they're pretty clever. I could get this kind of kinetic energy into my webbing. Now who's the thief, huh? <laughs> you know Oscorp, but you might not know me. I'm Harry Osborne. And when my father died, he didn't just leave me a business. He left me a New York institution. 
But too often lately, both Oscorp and this city have been preyed on by criminals. Now today, I'm announcing a joint venture with a man who, like me, recently returned to the city where he was born and wants to help. Wilson Fisk. New York made me the man I am. Now, I want to give something back. It was my privilege to rebuild this great city after recent crises, but that was just the start. Allow me to introduce you to the Enhanced Crime Task Force. Now, the police are doing a fine job with limited resources, but when they face threats outside their normal scope, they need more, and we have provided Rather than increase the burden on taxpayers, Mr. Fisk and I are financing this hand-picked task force ourselves. Vigilantes like Spider-Man only make the problem worse. This is our city, and we're taking it back, together. Still willing to take Oscorp off your hands, young man. And my answer is still no. Well, that's fine. I'll just wait until you die of the disease that killed your father. Attention all task force personnel. You are authorized to begin phase one of the suppression initiative. Repeat, phase one of the suppression initiative is a go. This owner reports suspects disturbing the peace in his parking lot. Almost feel like a bullet. You took <laughs> The happy faces of residents no longer afraid to walk the streets prove once again why he's called your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. driver's test. and bystanders for them to <laughs> break. Police report a drop in car thefts now that criminals know even a high-powered engine can't save them from Spider-Man. Messing with that freak! The spider! Kill him! Hey, wrapping up bad guys is my thing. What the? I can help you? Okay, Mr. Craven the Hunter. You got my attention. Feel bad. Spider-Man. I like. Impressive. But you are still raw. Inexperienced. 
I was experienced enough to beat your friends. I am Russian, but I am no friend to those pigs. My name is Sergei Kravenov. Men call me Craven the Hunter. So you left me that note. Huh. Judging from the web, you're one of those crazy reality show guys who runs around naked in the woods eating bugs. How can you help me? I can make you a true hunter. Not just a boy pretending to be a man. Should you wish to accept, you may find me here. Until we meet again. Uh, Mr. Kravenoff? It's me, Peter Parker, from the Daily Bugle? We, we spoke on the phone? The, the door was open! Uh, Mr. Kravenoff? <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But I grew fond of your city. And your city grew fond of me. <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No. Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. This new task force is sending a pretty strong message. No vigilantes. Ah, I do not trust them. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. And the rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. To get results. Based on my experience, uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh... I don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but to refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And what are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors. Many travel in packs, but... There are differences. Such as? 
Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it is to be unworthy of it. Uh, well, thanks. I, I think our readers will find this very interesting. Good, good. I must take this call. But please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes. No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! Pardon the interruption. Would you care to see my latest trophies? Spider-Man captured them. An inadequate solution. They escaped. So you killed them? To save the lives of their victims, yes. But also in self-defense. They were deadly opponents. I know. I mean, I can imagine. When do you consider it okay to kill? When there is no other choice. I do not take life lightly. But when it is necessary, I do not hesitate. If my failure to act cost the life of an innocent person, I could not live with myself. I know what you mean. They all had superhuman powers. How'd you beat them? 